it drain, it lose 211 pounds. Yes, I'm up from that. Yes, my macros change back and forth. And there's a long spill coming up in the video that you will see after our little talk. First, let me go ahead and show you my macros. No. Oh, and, and what I've eaten today, what he's eaten, his little part of the video. Um, so, I guess I should tell you who he is in case you're new. So basically, I haven't eaten all day. Day. I'm just doing my shakes today. I'm gonna to my strict diet thing, but tomorrow I'm gonna to start doing my chicken. And who are you in case they're new? Hmm? In case they're new and never been here before, I'm Jolly and I've lost tons of weight doing keto, but who are you? And I'm Dino and I'm doing keto. No, I'm more like low carb right this minute. But it still works, still works. You can do low carb, you can do yeah. keto. Oh, I'm just doing my fitness thing right now because I'm trying to lose 20 to 25 pounds. And get it like all ripped up so that's what kind of what i'm doing right now so we're gonna be doing a lot of gym stuff so stuff like that as well right now i'm out of shape as you can see but um i'll be getting more in shape as we go along so the hold on i want to go ahead and show them all that stuff real fast all those macros and show them the making of your protein drink so you can drink it and it doesn't melt onto the floor we'll be right back Okay, so I'm breaking my fast at 1 p.m. with seven pieces of bacon, three eggs, a half of a half, so a quarter tablespoon of butter. Need to learn to speak, right? A quarter tablespoon of butter and a college of coffee. So my steps yesterday was 12,921. I'm exhausted still. My macros was 83 protein, 109 fat, 1,400 calories, five net carbs, 18 total. My sleep was six hours and 55 minutes. Okay, so he's about to make his protein shake. He is using some fresh strawberries. He is using um, BP Fit peanut butter powder that we all have heard of. People even make their own peanut butter with it. It will be two total carbs for two tablespoons. I'm not really sure how many he uses. Remember, he is probably doing more low carb than anything. Um, this is his protein powder that's really heavy holy crap okay so one scoop is 140 calories it has three total carbs one fiber so it is two net carbs per scoop so eight a, if he did eight a day that would be 16 that's not no i think i'm doing math wrong yeah it would be 16. okay so also 25 protein per Scoop and um, let's watch him make. Baby, you're on. All right, this is what we're doing. We got some strawberries. We got some uh, this bad boy right here, combat powder, and then we got this stuff right here. So this is just basically turning your stuff into peanut butter. Um, that's what it basically is, peanut butter. So we got a cup of ice. So we're gonna start off with some water right here. Just need a little bit of Taurus for you guys. That's for the heck of it. A little bit of ice. I got one, two, three, four, five, six strawberries cut in half. There's one in there. So I'm doing a strawberry peanut butter mode, I call it. All right, put the rest of the ice in there. All right, let me just put this in here real quick. All right, so apparently this ain't open yet. I thought no, I opened it. No, you know you used it. All right, so. Do you need a spoon? No. Hold on, guys, hold on. Technical difficulty is supposed to be open before we started, but. All right, you want me to pause for a moment and get a knife? No, there you go. Yeah, got it. Try not to spread it everywhere. All right, there we go, and then we got this guy here. Okay, remember, y'all, I'm saying he's doing low carb because some of y'all might freak about how much he puts in there because I'm not sure how much peanut butter he's about to put in there. Okay, here we go. So they didn't have the vanilla, so this is chocolate. So it's chocolate peanut butter mood, I call it. It so sounded yummy until you went and stuck the strawberries. So we go here, one, and another scoop. So four net two. carbs. And this one, I'm just gonna do half a scoop because I don't have a scoop of bread. It looks wet in there, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Uh, you know what, let's just go. Okay, we have Everybody. just reached way above the... Uh... Let's go half here, we go half. Yeah. And okay, y'all, this is a hugely, uh, highly carved item. <clears throat> so this is this. That's probably like three or four tablespoons. I'll add it up in a second tell y'all yep. exactly. And then we're gonna blend it up real quick. All right, so I like to turn it on, of course, and you gotta turn it on. And then uh, let's go low. Mm -hmm. 
So if you guys use protein powder, just to let you guys know, protein powder is super foamy. So if you fill it up like a little bit ways, it's still going to get all the way up there. And... Did you do one scoop of this? I forgot. Two scoops. Two. Okay. Okay. And then we get a cup and we test it out. Are we still going? Anymore? I mean, we do I'll it. get your cup then. All right, cup. All right, turn that off. Babe, you need to mix it more. Look, it didn't mix. It's oh, yeah, all powder it's, still. Yeah, it's not going to mix that good. Oh, I can get it to mix all the way. Powder. I get mine to mix. Mine's powder. It's protein. Man. Yeah, right, so minus two, baby. So Keep it right there, and I'll show you. Bottoms up. Mm. I'm trying to think how many carbs was in it. Okay, four, eight. Is it gross? You ran away. Eight. Plus how many was in the berries? So probably 13, 14 net carbs. Okay. So we have a little differences because breakfast means breaking a fast, whether you do it midday or in the morning, but where he's from, he believes breakfast is eaten by certain hours. So I confuse him when I say breakfast and it's like 11 o'clock because it's breaking my fast. Well, for me, I call breakfast at eight o'clock in the morning and stuff. If it's in the afternoon, I call it, you know, lunch, but Anyways, like I all said, right. different areas. Let's go. We should play a game one time. Do stuff what now. Our words mean. Um, so I'm fixing up my part. I'm kind of confused what I'm gonna do with it yet on my side of the room, but I'm working on it. I got my RGB lights up, but I'm still want to do a whole bunch of stuff to it. And as far as keto goes, she's having a coffee right now, and her coffee is my collagen coffee. Collagen coffee, and of course my usual number two. You know, we got to get some manly stuff in this video. This is a manly drink right here. The man. This drink. is how big his mm -hmm. protein drink comes This is out called to the me. man drink right here. <laughs> so, this is for the bros, the bros out there. It's not how old, it's not how young, it's not. You might be insulting can. some women because I'm sure a lot of women drink that too. No, I mean, women drink, drink this too and stuff, but they don't drink this much either. Because it's just. Well, you know, my keto chow is that man. big when I do my keto chow. Man drink. My keto chow is quite cute. <laughs> well, well, I mean, what I mean by man's drink, let me correct that. What I mean by man's drink is the size of my cup, okay? The size of my cup is a manly cup. See, men is smart. They just grab it. They don't wash cups. You don't need to wash You're cups. You're insulting all, those cups. all these women. <laughs> you don't have to wash cups, ladies. Really? Could you just get use them? a lot of cups to make All that? you got to do is get one of these. He used a lot of cups to make that. Uh, yeah, that was just for the um, video intro, but usually I just scoop it in this part right there. But yeah, if you're lazy, you don't want to watch this, here you go. This is your cup, bottom line. But anyways, um, so I'm going to be doing some workout stuff here and there. And then we're going to try to improve the channel more. So stay tuned for that. I don't know what she has planned in mind, but like I said, the day we get faster internet, whenever that is, it's going to be 4K videos. Well, I don't care about that part because most people can't even stream 4K videos that no. watch me. No, I'm just saying it's going to be like super clear. Did water splat? Yep. What matters to me is I will be able to post multiple videos in a day because I want to do some cooking videos that's not in my daily vlog videos, but I can't do it because of my internet. Well, I want to be doing my streaming and do a bunch of live streams, a whole bunch of stuff on mine. He does gaming. Mine is just going to be up in the air and then my tech channel is, I'm going to be working on that as well, but Mine is just kind of up in there what I'm going to do right now, but we're going to concentrate on hers a little bit more and get hers a little bit more flowing. We're going to do a little bit more videos throughout the day and definitely maybe, I don't know. We're trying to pick a day for I live know. streaming. Mm. I know a lot of y'all really like Thursday evenings, but I don't know if Thursday evenings will work for us. So we might do two a week. I'm not sure. One in the evening, one in the day. I'm also debating on doing the youtube membership for extra live um once a week i'm not sure because i don't want to make people mad and every time someone does that it makes a bunch of people mad that follow them but also if it's just extra content i don't get why people would get mad you're just rewarding people for supporting you so much and i know watching my videos is supporting me too so i don't want to make people mad like because so many of y'all follow me and i i, I don't want to leave people out it's one of those things, you know. And my anxiety makes that whole decision even worse. 
Well, I guess the best way to put it, we'll start off a little bit slow with the lives a little by little because internet issues. So we'll see how it goes. We do like maybe one, do a test one, just to my, test it out and go up. My legs are fine though. I don't have any lags, no, no issues on lives. It works better than the uploading. Okay, what did I say? You guys are going to be blasted on the somewhere on a big extra no, screen where we can see here so i can see it yeah but it's gonna be blasting our extra screen so we can see the word so that way we can get a little bit more of your comments in but um with the internet connection sometimes well, all your comments don't get in yes, so don't they do i see them all no sometimes it, it doesn't go through but i see them and you don't and i do answer them and you miss that i answer them and sometimes they, there's comments that you don't see and you can't answer them so it goes in ins and out with the live stream sometimes well, I have to use this. I can't read it on anything else. Mm -hmm. But I've seen them all because I go back and look at them and there's none that I missed. Because after you film, it prints it and you can see it all. Hi, baby. So I don't know what you're talking about. I always see them. And I ignore yours. If you're talking about your comments, I ignore them because usually they're inappropriate. No. No, I'm not, but... So what I want to do too, like, um, we're going to do like a cookie, I'm vi um, videotaping her cooking, she can videotape me cooking, whatever, making drinks throughout the day, that we can know exactly how to flip an egg or whatever you guys, because I know a lot of people like watching cooking stuff, so I don't know right, but <laughs> we're going to be doing like step-by-step -step tutorial in cooking. I can't flip an egg to save my life, so. But, yeah, so we'll be doing whatever keto cooking, some keto testing here and there. Um, I don't know, wherever it comes up, we see how it goes. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to talk about was my blood pressure. I have been off blood pressure medicine a total of five days because I went off of it before I even saw the doctor. So it's been over five days now. And my blood pressure, I was hoping it would raise some because I feel like garbage with it so low, it didn't it's dropped even lower like this morning was 105 over 57 at times i think it got into the 60s it was 97 over 51 at times and i feel exhausted when that happens i feel like i am so drained so poisoned and i hate it hit it so hopefully it will rise back up but still no meds no need for meds at all because it is too low as it is um oh let me think what else is there anything else i really wanted to talk about i do have a little yeah talking statement that um, i will be putting in in a few minutes she wanted to put one more thing in there actually oh, no. that you forgot what because i can't edit stuff out so don't be inappropriate what are you talking about he makes me a little nervous what what were you gonna say honey she forgot to put the main thing in there what you were saying earlier Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys a clip of my um setup here. <laughs> Cut me out. Oh no, we can flip it. No, no, it's okay. So this is kind of my setup I got running going on right here. That's my computer. That computer's a piece better. Then I got some monitors and a mic and stuff. So I'm just deciding what to do. You see how plain my wall is? Lord have mercy, I gotta fix that. But and then I got my RGB lights over there. I don't know if you guys can see your RGB lights, but whatever. Yeah, I just wanted to brag it down a little bit, but um. Oh my gosh! Sometimes he yeah. makes me nervous because he says stuff, and then I have to try to cut it out because I would get me demonetized. So I thought he was about to do that to me. Oh, have you guys been looking at my watch? Um, I just want to get a close up view of this bad boy right here oh. for you guys. Oh, yep, yep, yep! Look at that ice stuff all around. Look at all that ice around my watch. Woohoo! My baby. Oh, same. my daughter is calling. Hold on. Hi, baby. Stop yelling at me. Okay, so they called freaking out thinking my house was on fire and it's the neighbor's house. I'm in the rain. Okay, so we're all wet because we had to go see because my parents thought it was my house on fire. My kid was freaking out it's awesome. and it's the neighbors. I don't know if they did on purpose. If it was the lightning strike, the whole shed's on fire, the trees around it. So I don't know. But um, we're wet. We're doggies wet in the rain. Okay, baby. And it's right next to the house. I'm afraid if there's kids or something, they might get it. They don't have kids. Why don't they have the doggies? Uh, they have pit bulls that are running wild. Yeah, they don't have any dogs caged up, Haley. No, I was talking about the 
Yeah, they're not caged up. They're running wild. The dogs oh. aren't going to get what fired. What I don't get is... Oh, they used to be chained up. No, they stopped doing that. <clears throat> what I don't get is why didn't you just look through your front window like I did? <laughs> it right it's crazy. That's scary. What if it happens to one of them? No, it won't. I think maybe the lightning hit it and the things that had it in there it made it even go worse or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm recording. Ooh, that's hot. I used the coffee made for I bought from today. It's really hot. Okay, that's my second collagen coffee of the day. He's over here working on his computer. Um, why can't I be a normal person? Why do I have to have adrenal gland issues? Why, when I overwork my body, my weight goes up, I am exhausted and in pain? Why can't Maybe this is serious. Why um, can I do net carbs without my weight shooting up? Why can't I eat as many nuts? Well, you know, in reason. Yes, honey. As other people. Why? Why can't I just be a normal caterer? So many people can do net carbs. So many people can have their nuts, their berries, celery, nuts. sour cream, cream cheeses, low carb bread, keto wraps. The weight doesn't go up, they don't feel horrible, they don't get kicked out of ketosis. And I know, I know watching other people that they usually take a couple of months for their body to get used to it. But I feel like shit. I am exhausted. I have no energy. And two weeks ago I did. When I was doing total, very low, low total carbs. Long, long fasting. And very clean. Why do I have to do that? You know, I've changed my macros to net carbs. I've upped everything because I want to give it a try. I haven't started the gym yet, so maybe that'll make a difference. But we are working our butts off, changing every room in this whole entire house. I probably am doing more than I will be in the gym for over a week now. It has been nonstop nightmare city. I know that's a lot of issues with my body. Like, I've got fibromyalgia, I have adrenal gland issues, and blah, 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 right? But at the same time, I don't like seeing my body swell. I don't like feeling like trash. I just don't think I can do keto the way everyone else does anymore. I don't think I can have the keto bread. Even though I've only had it once, I still feel like trash from it. Still, still feeling the same way I did the first day I ate it. What was what, two days ago? Um, I think I have to come to the conclusion that no matter how much I want to be able to eat those things for the health side of it, I just can't. I think I have to realize once a week, you know, there are some keto net carb stuff I can't have. So I can have the Quest peanut butter cups all day long and lose weight. So I'm still staying that carb. I just need to only eat the foods I know that doesn't affect me. So um, carb quick doesn't affect me, but I'm not eating that right now. But the shells and especially keto bread, mm -mm, they're out. Um, I love bell pepper, but it affects my stomach horrible, so it's out. The more nightshades I eat, the more my weight goes up, the more pain I'm in, and they shouldn't cause either, like, they shouldn't cause my weight to go up. It's inflammation. It is literally from being a nightshade. 
which is peppers, tomatoes, I think eggplants, like there's a list of it. I think potatoes are one, I don't remember. Um, so I think I have to come to the conclusion that other people, I can watch other people eat the foods, but I just can't. The Halo Top Keto Ice Cream, I can eat just fine. It doesn't swell me, it doesn't make me feel bad, it doesn't keep me out of ketosis. Um, I have no problems with it at all. So that's something I can have, right? Because it's not carb and I can still have it. I can have some almonds, but I can't necessarily have a bunch of peanuts or pecans. Um, like, I am literally realizing, and it's not about the weight part, it's about the way my stomach feels, how it swells immediately like I'm pregnant after eating it, how my heartburn kicks in, how my nose is more stopped up. Um, how my skin is like my skin is okay today, but it's not the best Look, my nose is swollen from eating those foods um, So even though I want to be normal and just grab that keto bread and be the heck with it because I'm lazy uh, Even though I want to be lazy and grab a diet drink like other people do instead of having to go in there and like make a coffee or something I can't have it I can't be normal. I can't wish away certain issues. I can't wish away stomach issues or allergies or sensitivities. You you just can't wish them away. So, don't worry, Dino will be in the video today. I just need this little moment with y'all, with myself. <sighs> because really, I'm talking to myself right this minute. Self, literally, you cannot have these things. You might desire them, you might want them, you might feel completely deprived because other people can have them, but it's not good for you, health-wise, at all. Because I'm sure over a month or so, this the weight loss would start kicking in again, um, hopefully, but who knows, because if I'm sensitive and it's causing inflammation in my body, my body's fighting against that instead of losing weight. But I do have a surprise. I do have a surprise that will be in tomorrow's video. So y'all will see it on Tuesday. And that is Monday because today's Sunday. So Monday, tomorrow, I am going a very long drive. Like, very long drive. Like, I'm going to be on the road for three hours. Um, because I'm going to go get a Detser scan done. I decided to get it done before we started working out. Yes, I'm up on the scale right this minute. Um, I started going up on the scale before he even got here. My body just was like choo, 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 a pound every day and I couldn't control it. I still can't control it. That's why I went to net carbs because I said the heck with it. I'm going up anyways. <sighs> but, so yes, I'm going to go get one done. Then we're going to start lifting weights every at least four or five days a week. And then within three to six months, I'm going to get another one and done and see what happens. Because I need to know where I need, how much fat I need to lose. That's why I'm concentrating on fat right now. Instead of the pound on the scale, we're going for scat, fat, scat, fat, we're going for fat, fat loss. Because I still have a lot of loose fat on my body. I don't even know how much loose skin I'm going to have yet because there's too much loose fat going on still. So that being said, this little eight minutes getting on to myself for thinking I can eat the peanuts and stuff and eat the keto bread. Mm -mm. Doesn't raise my blood sugar, but it causes other issues. So, <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I have to admit, the one thing that works the best, absolute best, is phase one, page four, Dr. Eric Westman. It is a no fail, but I really love my keto child, and that is not on that list. So, I think I'm going to be doing his original page four, which had the berries on it, and adding keto child in there kind of mixing the two together because I really want the keto gel. I want to start doing it for dinner every night. When Dino makes his protein shake, if he makes one today, because he's going to start that soon, I'm going to record it. I'm going to show you the bag. I'm going to show you the macros. It can be completely keto friendly unless you're really having to eat a day, but I don't think he's going to have to eat a day. So, we will see. Chocolate.
tropical storm day. Oh, and late happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. And that includes the mothers who are single mommies and there is no daddy in the picture and you're having to do it all. Totally, you know, got that. My dad had to be my daughter's dad, basically. Grandpa dad, like, that's the only Mel Romal she ever had until Dino now. Um, so, totally get you single mommies. Your daddy and mommy. Single daddies, I get it. Your mommy and daddy. It works both ways. If you're playing the role of both, you deserve both days to belong to you. That's how I look at it. Doesn't matter what's between the legs when it comes to that part because some of us have to play two roles. And some people don't even have any parents left in life, so they have to play grandparents, aunts, uncles, they have to play every role out there in the book all by themselves. So props to y'all because you're doing the hardest work ever. So let me go see what Dino's doing because he ran away. I totally meant to record the food I just cooked. I mean, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat, but I meant to record it while I was making it. It is Philly steak in a bowl. Hold on. So I have the Philly meat, bell peppers, mushroom, Kobe Jack cheese, and a little mustard. Okay, I took a few bites of that food and it's not settling. I don't know if it was the cheap flank steak or the bell pepper. So I have some pressure cooker shredded chicken, one ounce of cheese, and some sprinkled nacho keto type spice on top. Okay, well you didn't see me eat with my dinner. My peanut butter cups. Mm -mm -mm. One net carb, 13 total. 11 proteins, 190 calories. I eat it enough that I know this all by heart. So the peanut butter cup I ate way earlier that y'all just saw, um, had no issues with it, but then I took a few sips of Gatorade Zero Grape, which I drank a whole one before, had no issues, and got instant horrible, horrible heartburn, terrible heartburn from it. I think I'm going to have to stick to coffee and water too, not even the Gatorade Zeros. Like I, I don't know why I think that my sensitivities and my gut issues just magically disappear completely because I start feeling great, right? I start feeling good because I'm doing the total carb, I'm doing the let's cut everything out, no this, no that, no this, no that, and then my stomach feels fine. And then me tries to put some bell pepper in there tries to drink a can of diet soda, Gatorade Zero, which uh, normal non-gut issue people can have, but I can't. I know you've heard me say this before. And then my brain thinks, oh, you're cured, let's try it again. And this is insanity because how many times I've done it over the last four years. The first year, things didn't affect me. I didn't know what it felt like to not have gut issues, like to go days with no heartburn. So whatever I was eating, I ate, same with the second year. It's afterwards when I learned what not having heartburn and not being nauseous 24 seven feels like when I cut the crap out. So, stop being insane. I'm telling myself to stop being insane. Stop trying to drink the crap and eat the bell peppers. That's going to upset your tummy. Stop it. Just stop it. Like, it's ridiculous. I don't know why. I don't know why I think I'm just magically occurred. Like, like Tinker Bell came and sprinkled some fairy dust, and now I can have some bell pepper, and I can drink some diet soda, or a carbon drink, or any drink with any flavor other than coffee and water, because it doesn't work. What's wrong with me? So, I am having my last food, drink, whatever of the day. It is the Savory Chicken Keto Chow that Lovin' It On Keto sent me, which I am so grateful for because my heartburn and nausea has been so bad the last few days that I could really use some salty and crackers to calm it down, and I'm not. So instead, I am having the Keto Chow stuff right here to calm down my heartburn. He is cleaning his closet. We have been ripping this house apart, making room for him in every room in the house. So I'm gonna be doing. Um, Sorry, baby. I'm gonna be taking keto more uh, seriously like that, and um, 
don't know how important the keto is to you guys, but I'm still gonna try snacks here and there, but um, keto is keto. He, he did want to defend, like, some people did get upset with him, and I guess him saying the Cheetos and stuff like that. <laughs> and he doesn't want to upset people or make people mad just because he's making a joke. Because he makes a joke doesn't mean he doesn't take it seriously. He takes I'll try not to joke, joke around too much just so you guys well, don't get mad. They love the jokes. They like all your little skits you did in the woods those time. Oh my gosh, they thought all that was hysterical. But I'll, I'll take the keto stuff and I'll try not to joke about it too much. But if something tastes good, I'll let you guys know. If something tastes bad, I'll let you guys know. He's going to give his honest opinion. Like I said, my mom thought it all tastes like shit when before keto. Three months into keto, she loves all this crazy stuff and thinks it tastes amazing. I was the same way. Most people think it tastes like poop in the toilet well, until they've cleaned their palate and started over. Well, it's like a, some stuff is good and some stuff is not. And it's like a required taste, but if you eat it over and over enough, then you kind of like get grown to some of some things and some things you don't. Well, I guess that's the best way to explain Let's it. put it this way. If you go without any kind of real sugar for three months, it's going to taste totally different. You will be amazed. My mom did not believe me when I told her that, and she was completely in shock after three months. What do you mean? Okay, if you go three months without any sugar. But how can you not have sugar? It's so yummy and tasty. Ah! <laughs> that's diabetes. There are some people that can handle it. He has no sugar problem, y'all. That, And I'm not making him do keto. And if he wants to be low carb or high carb, whatever he wants for him is fine with me. But he wants to at least be low carb because he doesn't have a sugar issue. He can eat some high, high, high sugars. Like, I won't even mention them because y'all would freak out. And his blood sugar is only 105. 15 minutes after, hour after. I mean, we've done this test before because he wanted to prove to me he has no sugar issues. And he doesn't. None. I'm totally jealous. But for a lot of us, we're insulin resistant. Keto is our only hope. He's doing it to be supportive of me because when he brings in the C word that might trigger people, I can't control myself. Okay, when I was 13, I went summer, a whole summer of just eating bags and bags of them and gaining so much weight. I have no willpower towards those little orange messy things that start with a C. Like zero real power. Worse than a donut. And we all know how much I love them. So there are certain things I have no willpower and they cannot be in this house. And he knows it. Because he didn't think that was possible until he saw me last time. I will mindlessly eat it. I will say I'm not going to eat this. Next thing you know I'm covered in the mess and I didn't even realize I had just seen it. It is a mindless eating thing that started when I was younger when it comes to that product. And still to this day, I can mindlessly eat it and not even realize I'm eating it. I know, crazy, right? Because I get crazy when those things are around. Okay, I can resist everything else and not mindlessly eat it. But that's a mindlessly eating one. Sorry, I am very nauseous. So... I am going to go ahead and shut up because I need some sleep because we got a very long drive tomorrow. Eat this stuff right here to feel better. And figure out what I'm going to start eating to make myself feel better because the boneless, skinless chicken breast tastes like garbage. The last time I ate the hamburgers on the grill, I got very sick from them. Nothing is settling on my stomach. I really, other than bacon and eggs. So I'm really thinking of doing this bacon, eggs, and keto chow for a while. My grocery bill will love it. I have tons of keto chow right this minute. Um, I have to remember, cause he and my family, food, it's for yumminess and pleasure. And when I get around them, my brain just starts thinking that again. I have to remember, food is fuel. Just eat the crap get it over with and the less I enjoy it the less likely I am to go binge like I have to make sure I only make seven or eight pieces of bacon anymore I'm going to eat it because it's yummy right I can't eat more than three eggs because it's not yummy to me but it helps my metabolism so I eat them 
Um, weans. Weans I can overeat. That's why I don't make weans anymore. I, I make things that, okay, my air fried chicken strips. They're yummy enough to eat five to seven ounces. Anything more, I start feeling nauseous. It's too much meat, too much everything. It's not something I want to binge on, okay? Um, that's the thing. I keep stuff in the house, other than the bacon, that I would never binge on. That's normally how I do it. I love these, but I know if I have this every single day, even one pack, I'm going to get an upset stomach. It's going to hurt my stomach. It's not because of the peanut butter. It's just, I don't know, the fibers they use. All keto snacky foods like this, I can never have more than one pack a day. I can't do multiple ones or anything like that. Other than the perfect ketos, I used to could get away with two packs a day. Um, everything else, mm -mm. the erythritol or something will tear my stomach apart and I will have heartburn and almost throw up all night long. So I can keep these in the house. Like I have probably 20 or 30 of these. Like I have a lot of that because I buy it on BOGO, which, you know, perfect ketos having a father day buy to get one free right now. Um, but I know better to binge on it. I learned my lesson with Lily's chocolates, never touch them again. Whew. Um, so that's, that's how I do it. I make sure and not have stuff. I'll binge on it. Yes, baby. Am I talking too long? This is a really long video. No. I'm going to have to get I out. Fold it up on my clothes. Get ready to do some dishes after. So this is, oh. How you did the dishes? Yeah, when it's dry, I got to put it away. Oh, it won't be dry till tomorrow. It's in the dryer. The dishwasher. What else can I do? Um, I'm going to keep the living room. A clean house is a healthy house, guys. I don't know where we're going to put this stuff in the living room. we got to find we're a home for it. Good keto video sometime this week. From morning to end, we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, like, she likes to shock me. Well, it's what she already said, right? So we're going to try something different, like her cooking breakfast in the morning, going throughout her day a little bit more, getting more, a little bit more detailed stuff in there. For you guys and um post up i guess more pictures of food or whatever throughout the day if we can we're doing videos of the food too but some people like pictures and videos so we'll try she's doing a lot of editing so i suck at editing though no you're doing good she's good at editing right i guys? just throw it in there i don't do anything i throw That's it into the program do. i don't even know how to take music out i don't know how to voice over Anyways, I hope they let us film tomorrow. If not, uh, you will get clips here or there yep. and my results. So I'm shutting up because this is a really long video.